my student Grant Norman, who was one of the most celebrated phantoms in Phantom of the Opera, mm -hmm. um, and he did a number of other Broadway shows, we were talking uh, a couple of weeks ago and he was telling me that, you know, when he first did his audition, he would just audition for the chorus. They took him in the chorus because he was tall. <laughs> they didn't even really like his voice that much. You know, it was okay. And it was, it was in the chorus of uh, Miss Saigon. But anyway, mm -hmm. he started going to rehearsals. Then all of a sudden, the music director really liked him and could tell that he was a good singer. He was very consistent. Even though he had more of an operatic sound to his voice and uh, Miss Saigon is more of a pop show, mm -hmm. um, the guy who was going on as Chris uh, was always losing his voice. And Grant could sing it for days and days and days, even though it was a little bit more operatic. So eventually he went from just singing in the chorus to they had him cover all of the male roles in the show. And then when he went on as Chris, he, he sang it like it was butter. He could do two shows in the same day, no problem. And so he ended up being Chris. Then the casting director from Phantom heard him and said, wow, that's more of a classical voice. We need to get him over to audition for Phantom. And then he moved to that. So a lot of it is, um, is just walking the steps and doing your job, just showing up for the next gig yep. and letting whatever uh, universe magic work for you so that you can move on to the next step. Yeah. That was some of the best advice I got once when I was like, I want to go to New York and take a bunch of auditions. And, um, <clears throat> you know, there's so many singers, so many, so many. And so many of them have this fear of showing up. And because they have a fear of showing up, they don't show up. Then when they do show up, they're inconsistent. So that was some of the best advice that I got was all you have to do is show up, know your stuff, but show up. 99% <laughs> of it is just showing up. It's a job. Whether yep. you feel good that day, whether you're inspired or you're not inspired or you're sad or you just broke up with your boyfriend or, you know, whatever. You just, yep. you got to go to work, show up, put the suit on, go. Yep. <laughs> yes. Because life goes on and the audience and the people around you, they have sympathy, but really you just need to do your job. Just well, and the done. casting directors and, 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 and the, the directors of the show, the conductors, um, they've already been through all that. And they don't, they don't, they want to know that you're going to, you're going to be there. They don't want to hire somebody that is going to show up half of the time or be some emotional mess and can't do their job. It's a job. Show yeah. up, sing. And it be doesn't matter if you have a huge set behind you or if it's just a sheet, a uh, bed sheet that's been painted. Just go do the show. Yeah. <laughs>